Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. This is a price analysis update on Cotty. We'll take a look at it in both the USDT and the BTC pairings and have a look at some key levels. First, of all, we'll take a look at the previous video, the levels which I mentioned to see if we've hit. And then we'll have a look at some new key levels where we could potentially invest if the price does drop any lower. And then some price targets above. I mean, I think the last time we um, did this video was hanging around that all-time high. Uh, and now we have dropped off quite a significant amount. So we'll have a look at that too. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. So welcome, this video is in partnership with Cointelegraph Markets Pro, lots of things going on, we have Vortex scores and Newsquake alerts, if you want to see a full platform review, go over to the front page of my YouTube channel and you'll see the platform review there, lots of things going on, I think it's something you should definitely check out, check out if you want to up your trading game. So this is a previous video I did on Coty. We was closing in those all-time well, we was at all-time highs. We rejected slightly, but then we carried on and shot up to this negative two seven level here at seventy cent. I did mention if you're looking for buys, a good area to potentially place some orders was here on the three eight two level and ladder them down to a six one eight level. That's at forty eight cent all the way down to forty cent. If we have a look at the price today and where we're currently at, we're currently at 0.049. But look at that. We've wicked down to the exact area. I mean, if we put the Fibonacci on from last time, where was the top? It was around there, I think it was. So I did it that wick. You look at a red wick there. That's the last time we did the video. And I said some areas to target. It was this red line here, which was at negative 27, which we just rejected off that, didn't we? Um... Or if you would put the Fibonacci up slightly more. It was around there anyway. That was a price target to give. I mean, I did say for buys down at this region down here. And ladder them all the way down. We are currently at this region here now. On the 382 level. If we look at the entire move though. In, from the bottom there to the top. We've actually lost that 382 level now. So if you're looking for buys. I'd consider some here. At 44 cent. I think that's a decent area. If you want to top up anymore, if you've managed to watch the last video and you bought some Coty uh, for uh, 48 cent, happy days. I think that um, in the long term is a great price to buy. But if you missed that and you're still looking for some more buy orders, the market is looking a little bit ropey. That's not because of anything particular. It's because of Bitcoin. It's broke out and it's done that retest of that downtrend. If you look at Bitcoin here wrong tool if you look at bitcoin here that was a downtrend which we've now broken out of we have retested that it's dropped back a little bit it's dropped back about 1k um and altcoins are pulling back i think this is the start of the next major cycle within this look at bitcoin dominance this is something i've got in place i think this is going to happen bitcoin dominance has already started to regain some ground if bitcoin shoots up maybe even up to this level here at 52 ultimately Probably from, I don't know, December, November, the price, or should I say, um, the market dominance should start to drop. With that, altcoins will rally after that. But going back to Cote, um, if Bitcoin does continue to rally and pull back some market dominance, altcoins will pull back, but mainly in the BTC pairings. And the dollar pairs may not be as significant. So I think this is possibly the lowest it could go. I mean, currently we're set on support here. If you look at this region, uh, we'll put that with a... Um, a horizontal ray if you look at this region here that was the wicks where we rejected and then look at that we're currently set on support so that could be the bottom there as well at 4, 48 49 cent that is at 382 level from where i mentioned last time so let's see what the market does over the next few days whether bitcoin ran uh does start pushing up um or whether alts start to bounce back but for me i think it's now time for the bitcoin show i think bitcoin is going to start pushing up um alts will naturally follow it but the, uh, the BTC pairs will start to feel the pain. I mean, look at this. This is a setup I did from my last video. Um, I was looking at this red band here of resistance. I'm um, sorry, this support, which was resistance back then. And look at that. We've tapped right into that area so far. I think if you're looking for buys on the BTC pairs, just put a few cheeky bids in lower than you would expect. So, I mean, look at this wick down here. I reckon 700 sats could be a nice area for you to pick up some. Um, some Cote in the BTC pair. I think we will lose this level, and I think we will lose this level of support, and, and that's just the way the market is, but nothing to worry about. Long term, all good. Fill up as much as you can now while the markets are dropping, but that's areas to buy I've mentioned. Let's have a look at this in a bit of a bullish perspective, and we are going to go into price discovery soon, and once we do, 
you can start looking at some big levels. I mean, the first level to target is 80 cent and 94. I mean, obviously that magical $1 region, but let's take a bit of a price prediction on this. So we'll go from the very top here to that bottom. We've done that full retracement now, and we're probably going to come up to test this level 89 cents soon. But if you're looking for price predictions on this, these levels here cannot be um, frowned upon because I think these are some levels which we will hit over the course of the next six months. So for me, I think this region here around 4.618 at $2.39 is a solid region, which I think um, long term will be a great area to potentially take some profit off or even sell up or whatever you want to do. Just looking at this, we had a massive cup and handle here. Uh, as you can see, this was the, the cup. That was the handle that's a breakout so that played out very very nicely and um, so that's the buy zones and sell zones pretty much covered i've also covered the btc pair in there too and um, let's just go back to the um four hour time frame and just see what's going on down there um yeah pulling back nothing to worry about here it is pulled back and it hits that level which i did mention last time look at that all the way through to there that is a region where it is acting as support it's acting as support here support here support here key level of that at 48 49 cent you're probably talking around 50 cent is a nice psychological area people are thinking they probably saw a price shooting up here and thinking right i want to buy in look at 50 cent that's a nice area to buy so that's probably the area um which is now packed full of liquidity and where people are, are looking to buy just looking at a couple of key things money flow indicator is in the red um so that's a little bit of a bearish sign but if you go to daily time frame um it is in green it is in positive which potentially could be coming to an end soon as you can see we are starting to drop off there so that's dropping down slightly um but it is what it is, isn't it if it goes into a red more buying opportunity so that's pretty much it covered on terms of uh price analysis for cote just to finish up i just like to show you the um, the patreon page that i have started up now this is for more hands-on approach if you if you're new to crypto and you want to hand with things uh, it, we've got a private discord server where you can um ask whatever you want i can check out um anything that need help with so if you need uh, use with a dex if you want me to um help you with investments anything trading wise uh, or cryptocurrency wise that's there on it started it yesterday we got a couple of people in already but this is a long-term thing so uh, if you want to be part of that community um, you'll find that link in the, the description of this video so that's going to do it for today's uh, analysis on cody if you're new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time